brief introduction of what we're working on and then a lot of uh, my colleagues that you can see here with this nice background um, will be joining in and um, taking you in various discussions. So our workshop today is focusing on what the future air rail multi um, modal mobility within Europe can look like and we have different aspects that we would like to discuss. We have a first session where we introduce you to the project. Uh, we have keynote speakers giving their perspective on multimodality in Europe. And then in the second session, we'll dive into our modus work, the scenarios, use cases and city archetypes. And we would like to hear your feedback, your audience feedback on that. And after the lunch break, we will have two roundtables focusing on scenarios and on use cases and a final discussion on what the future might look like and how we can move forward. When we look at the multimodal European transport system and how we can move towards something like that, how we can create that, we see a lot of challenges um, ahead that we have to tackle, that we have to incorporate. And the ones that you see on the slides are definitely not exhaustive, so it's not all that is being covered, but it's very different from different sectors also, what needs to be prioritized, what ne we need to put a focus on. And the one of the challenges is enabling a seamless passenger journey, so how can we connect all the different transport modes in a very seamless way and providing a hassle-free journey to passengers. And one of the aspects here is that we need to um, address aspects regarding data, digitalization and, of course, uh, privacy and at the same time meeting environmental goals and facilitating a sustainable transport system. We also um, have to think about what new business models might look like and how we can integrate these into a multimodal system. And by doing that and thinking about these um, different aspects, we need to consider how we can best use our existing infrastructure and what kind of infrastructure investment makes best sense in the future. So assessing these different investments, thinking about how to better use existing infrastructure when moving forward to um, increasing, fostering a multimodal transport system. Today, we would also like to record our um, session um, and then would like to share presentations of our Modo speakers afterwards. Um, so it's not the individual discussions, but so people can um, look after what we've presented at our work um, um, by going online and recapping things. Um, so you see this little button that the recording um, is in progress. When thinking about these different challenges um, that I just introduced, um, Modus is part of this whole cosmos and we want to um, address some of these aspects by looking at the performance of the overall system um, together and considering the door-to-door -door journey holistically with a particular focus on air and rail within an integrated intermodal system. As you can see here, we're doing that uh, within a consortium of seven different partners, uh, both from the air sector and from the rail sector. So combining the expertise, the different viewpoints, but also data from these sectors. And what we do in our project is we want to understand the drivers that shape this future system. We want to integrate these into passenger mobility choices to see what is actually happening, what is driving the future demand and supply. And then as a second step, as you can see here, we're integrating these drivers and the data that we have into the modeling to see the door-to-door -door journey and how this is being affected by passenger choices, but also by the supply, for example, of infrastructure that we have. And last but not least in our project, uh, we're identifying barriers that um, are in the way to enable a better system, a better working together, but we're also highlighting opportunities that we can use um, when moving towards this multimodal system. 
you can find more information and all the deliverables and publications that are publicly available on our website. Um, but of course, you can always uh, contact us as the um, as a consortium and ask questions and engage with us, um, invite us to workshops or discussions. We're very happy to do so. Um, next, um, in our project Moodus, as I said, uh, we're looking at drivers of supply and demand. So on the left hand side, you can see the first steps that we did, uh, that we investigated together with European transport objectives and goals. So what are um, objectives that we have to move forward to that we want to be realized or that the European transport community wants to move forward to and taking these into account. We had a uh, first workshop in January last year, maybe some of you joined uh, that one as well, where we discussed these drivers and uh, collected additional drivers that are important uh, when thinking about this air rail intermodal integrated system, what we have to consider, what is maybe different from the different um, sector perspectives. We did integrate uh, several factors into a modal choice analysis and to in order to investigate what is driving passenger demand and what is also affecting supply. And we set up different scenarios and use cases. So to see what kind of paths are we actually looking at or might we be looking at when we look at the European transport system that is moving forward and which aspects might become important in the future. And this is what we're um, taking into our workshop today, what we would like to discuss with you, get your feedback on and also have different roundtables to discuss in the second session today. We will integrate these results in our so-called passenger mobility and flight centric modeling to get outputs, to get indicators how the system might be changing in order to give recommendations in terms of barriers and opportunities. For example, door to door travel times or capacities at the airport, for example. So all those factors that describe this multimodal system, how are they changing? How might they be changing across the different scenarios? And these scenarios and use cases that we will be looking at today, they describe potential future development paths. So it's not a definite path, but it's a different future with a different focus that we might be looking at. And um, we would like to get your feedback on, is there something very relevant that we're actually missing? Or is there something where you would say, this is very important, this has to be definitely taken into account so you should prioritize one of these scenarios or use cases, for example. So this is where we would like to collect your feedback after the presentation of each of my colleagues. We'll guide you through that and um, very happy to hear your thoughts on that. Before, uh, and this is already our objective of the workshop, that we would like to very actively engage you and get a lot of feedback on, on the work that we have been doing so far. So explore with you our scenarios and use cases to have the interactive audience engagement with a whiteboard that we will be introducing soon and also the round tables with our panelists, both from air and rail to get their perspectives on both scenarios and use cases and particular aspects from their area that they working in, in terms of what is important, what we might have missed um, in our work so far, which we need to integrate when moving forward.